You go! Thanks, guys. So tell me a little bit about where the idea came from. Ah, oh, the, the idea just came from the, you know, basically us be, being huge Nicolas Cage fans. Massive fan of Nicolas Cage. I used to do the caging where you put those pictures of him on people's lockers and stuff like that in middle school. How he presents the world as this giant personality and sort of crazy guy. And we thought, who's he, what's he like in real life? What's he like as a dad? What's he like when he's not acting? Yeah, you know, who is this person? And we sort of built and crafted the narrative around that. I mean, he's an icon. You can't like movies and not, you know, run up against Nicolas Cage. It's it's impossible. I was so excited to work with him. He like surpassed every expectation I could have had. And I know he was initially very hesitant to take it on. So what were those initial pitches like? What happened was we we actually wrote the um, the script on spec. Spent a bunch of six months writing it, and then you know eventually kind of got it to him. And he was hesitant. There had been projects like this before. Um, and so what we did was we we ended up writing a letter explaining sort of our intentions and how this would be really a love letter to him and to his body of work. And it would be a chance for him to kind of do all the genres he's done in the past from, you know, action comedy to comedy to indie drama, um, all of them in one. And so that I think that helped, you know, get him get him more interested. I have to ask, did you tell him that you had done caging before? No, I didn't want to freak him out. I, I still was trying to keep my cool, you know, because I had a fantasy in which we become best friends. So I was like, I don't want him to think that, you know, I'm as big of a fan as I am, but I'm sure he's used to it. Everyone is a fan. I'm sure everyone was waiting to like, tell their own Nicolas Cage anecdote. And I know he's also a producer on the movie. How much input did he have on his own experiences in Hollywood? Anytime you're using your own name, you know, we you, you get like, you know, more input than you ordinarily would. And, and for us, that was part of the interesting thing is like the, the, the best parts of the movie, I think, are when real Nick is coming through the Nicolas Cage character and they start to intersect. Do you have a favorite Nicolas Cage movie? Whoa. Adaptation. I mean, I love Raising Arizona. I will go Moonstruck. Leaving Las Vegas, uh, leaving Las Vegas is such a, it's a masterclass in acting, you know, for everyone involved, but it's like, I, I, it's hard to find another performance like Nick's in another movie. It's so raw and real and it brings exactly what he always brings to roles, which is that like complete control amidst complete chaos. You know what I mean? He, he's really in the driver's seat and he's showing you how far he can push the limit. It's it's extraordinary. Watching that movie, I, I felt like I was just watching something on a different plane. It was insane. 